Hi guys, recently I had some car trouble and it turned out to be a dead battery. Now the battery is an old lead acid, it's actually the original battery that came with the car so it's a few years old and it, it basically gone past its due date, um, the water levels were good and all those sort of things but it basically got to the point where it wouldn't hold a charge. Now in the whole process of trying to prolong the life of that battery, I ended up buying this battery charger and I thought it was interesting enough to show um, how it works and perhaps we could measure some currents and voltages. Um, and do a quick review on this device. Now it turns out it didn't save my battery, it was basically just completely dead. Um, so I've ended up buying a new battery. Um, but I did keep the old battery um, and it's got you know very low voltage and things and I thought it would be a good candidate to to plug this into because by doing that I can measure the voltage and amps that this thing is putting out. Um, the reason why this may be interesting is because this is a um, smart charger apparently. Um, it's, it's fully automatic so there's only one button on it and the button is basically choose what type of battery you have between gel, lead acid or a calcium battery um, and as soon as you put the um, alligator clips on the battery it immediately starts its charge cycle and it's automated so it, it's seven stages that it goes through um, and I'll put a little graphic on, on the screen now which, which shows what the voltage and current should do. It's a little bit more um, detailed than this little image on the front but as as it charges it steps through with an LED each stage that it goes through until at the end it either tells you your battery is good to go or if it finds a fault along the way it'll give you a fault light. Um, so this is I bought the uh, 12 volt 6 amp version um, there's also a 10 amp and a 15 amp they weren't that much more expensive this is $130 but I thought if I'm charging a battery I'm going to be doing it overnight most likely um, and it was a little bit cheaper so I ended up buying this one and it came with um, this lead out the back by the way it's just that's what you see on the back there so you can see there are the details on the back it's got your normal power lead coming out there obviously in Australia there's an Australian plug and also had this lead here um, and they gave you um, this attachment which just has um, like crimp eyelets on it so you can plug plug that in like that and then on batteries that have screw terminals um, you can use that um, but I've been using uh, the alligator clips that came with it so again you can just um, plug that in there and then you've got these two alligator clips and they're nice and strong um, and they fit well on the on the car battery around this area here or I guess, I guess if you've got like small terminals you can sort of use them on the end um, to grab them. Um, the cable itself doesn't have any any identification on it on its um, voltage or current but uh, it seems to be adequate I mean there's not a hell of a lot of power going through that. So this manual is included in the box as well um, it's, it's just a few pages but you can see some of the um, stats on the back. I've got the smaller one on the left. Um, they're all basically the same. The only difference is the current is uh, different between them but all the other stats are basically the same. So uh, it also describes a few of the features. It's got a microchip. Uh, it's monitoring the voltage and current in and out of the device. Um, it's got automatic you know, uh, monitoring and fault detection and protection against short circuit, reverse, reverse polarity and a few other bits and pieces. Um, but the bit that I found more interesting was the charge cycles. So what I might do now is take the charger outside and hook it up to my old dead car battery um, and I'll put a multimeter on the battery voltage and also in series so we can get a, a current reading as well and we'll see exactly what happens through the seven stages. So I've set this up here on my uh, little workbench here in the garage just because it's quite windy outside. Um, now it's all a little bit uh, crazy with the wires and things, but I've got this all hooked up. This is currently off. As soon as I turn it on, because it's connected, it'll start stepping through the stages. Uh, the fluke here is showing the voltage at 12.35 volts DC at the moment. Um, now, as soon as a load goes on this, that drops down to like 10 volts. It's the, the battery is essentially dead flat at the moment. Um, this Protec 608 is showing our amps um, being um, sent from the charger into the battery. Um, and so we'll turn it on now and I expect to see the desulfation phase will pulse 
the voltage and current. Now it's going to happen at 60 kilohertz apparently. I don't know how accurate these readings will be when it's when it's modulating that quickly, uh, but we'll flick it on now and we'll see what happens. So I'm pretty happy with this charger. It lived up to its specs, it delivered the 6 amps and it uh, did all the control mechanisms here and it seemed to do um, that fairly precisely. Uh, it, it had decent uh, measurement obviously on the, um, on the amps and voltage coming out of this thing. Um, now this is sold by uh, Super Cheap Auto. SCA is actually like their home brand and Super Cheap Auto are, are like a car parts and accessories um, shop here in Australia. It's one of the larger retailers. Um, I've searched online. I haven't seen anything similar to this really, like the same look and feel. Um, so I don't think this is a simple rebadge. I think they've actually had this manufactured for them. Um, but uh, yeah, well that's the company anyway. So you can look up that and uh, see if you can find any more uh, information on that. Uh, thanks very much for watching guys and uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.